بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آن بہاف آف یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن آئی فائزہ طارق ویلکم یو آل ان دا لیکچر نمبر سکسٹین آف کمپیوٹر کمیونیکیشن اینڈ نیٹ ورکس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ٹو نو اباؤٹ دا ٹرانسمیشن ڈیٹا ہاؤ کین وی ٹرانسفر ڈیجیٹل ڈیٹا فرام ون پلیس ٹو انادر پلیس ہاؤ کین وی ٹرانسمیٹ دا ڈیٹا اسٹوڈنٹس how do we rely in coded data from the generating devices to the next device that was the conver- about the conversions that was about our pre- previous lectures that how can we transmit data from one place to another place for that we should know that how do we rely in coded data from the generating devices to the next device that is through an interface which is devised by several popular standards physical layer of the OSI model and the mechanical and electrical function of the specifications. Dear students, data, digital data transmission, how do, how do we send one bit at a time or how do we group bits into larger groups and if so, so how it is possible? It is possible through the data transmission. There are two types of data transmission. One is the parallel, another one is the serial. And in serial uh, transmission, there are further three types, asynchronous, synchronous, and isochronous. Dear students, what is a transmission mode? The transmission of a binary data across a link can be accomplished in either parallel or serial mode. What is a parallel mode? Parallel mode, multiple bits are sent with each clock tick and in serial mode, one bit is sent with each clock tick. Students, what is a parallel transmission? You should have to know that what is a parallel transmission. In parallel transmission, what is happening? It is a binary data consisting of ones and zero and may be organized into a group of n bits each. So by grouping, we can send data n bits at a time instead of one bit. So it, use, it uses n wires to send n bits at the same time. Each bit has its own wire. So all n bits of one group can be transmitted with each clock tick between the devices. And what are their advantages? Speed is uh, fast by a factor of n over serial. But it is costly. Why it is costly? Because here we need the, um, n lines. We have n links required honge to if we want to send one byte to one byte jo hai, wo ek hi vakt mein sender se receiver pe jayegi. So we need 8 lines over here. We have kitni lines required honge? 8 lines. Next one is a serial transmission. Students, what is serial transmission? One bit follows another. So which, uh, so we need only one channel rather than N2 transmit data between two devices. So conversion devices are required at the interface. So here uh, we required one bit follows another which requires only one channel for the communication between the devices. Uh, the advantage of serial transmission is this, that it reduces the cost. Why? Because only one channel instead of N lines. Overhead, because communication within devices is parallel, we need conversion devices at the interfaces between sender and the line, parallel to serial. And between the line and the receiver, serial to parallel. Serial transmission can be asynchronous, synchronous and isochronous. So what we required over here at the sender side, we need parallel to serial converter and then it will transmit the data over a line, over a link serially and at the receiver end, they, we have serial to parallel converter that convert our serial data to the parallel con- conversion. So the receiver can receive the data. 
so eight bits are sent here eight bits are not sent together like the um, parallel transmission here the eight bits are sent over a wire over a line the one by one next one is the asynchronous transmission students asynchronous kya hota hai it is so named because the timing of the signal is unimportant so instead of information is received and translated by agreed upon the pattern so what is happening in the asynchronous synchronous ke andar kya hota hai we send one start bit to alert the receiver to the arrival of a new group and we send one or more additional stop bits at the end of each byte to let the receiver to know that byte is finished so there may be a gap between each byte so asynchronous here means asynchronous at the byte level but the bits are still synchronized so they and their duration are the same so asynchronous ke advantage kya hote hain ye cheap hota hai aur effective hota hai but asynchronous ke drawbacks kya honge ye slow hoga it slows the transmission due to additional bits cheap and effective which is used for low speed communication and the communication occurs between the computer and keyboard it is just like this students now we take an example that what is the asynchronous transmission uh, with with the help of start and stop bit this is the uh, this is the start bit and this is a stop bit with the help of start and stop bit receiver can understand complete byte of data and this is the complete byte of a data students let's take an example of my videos if i divide my one topic if i divide my one topic in three videos that is video 1 one 1a one 1b one and 1c whenever you have seen 1a 1b and 1c and order is completed to this topic so whenever the next video to came you will understand this topic is over which is 1a 1b and 1c and the next topic second is started so it indicates the there is a start and stop bit the receiver gives the indication here with the zeros and ones after the zero received whenever you will receive the zero the eight bits and whenever it gets one after eight bits it means that the data is over that the video lecture is completed so one topic in one topic if we have three videos when you ever you will get the second number video you will assume that the previous one has been completed so just like this there is a stop bit and there is a start bit start bit indicates that the, the new data is arrived synchronous transmission students in synchronous transmission we send bits one after another without start or stop bits or gaps it is the responsibility of the receiver to group the bits the bits are usually sent as bytes and many bytes are grouped in a frame what is the frame over here it is identified with the start and an end byte and there are uneven gap between the frames students 8 bits jaise hi receive honge usko ek group bana diya jayega aur ye receiver ki responsibility hai ki wo at the end of receiver kis tarah se jaise hi 8 bits usko receive ho jayengi wo uska group bana dega let's take an example it is just like in the same way that i am uh, recording video lectures and um, i am sending the videos one after an other to you people and i am uploading it on youtube in your it is your responsibility that you are receiver so what is the next sequence of the video so which video is after the continuation is next video so you have to group that to make one subject this is 
actually synchronous transmission suppose a uh, uh, one topic jo hai hamara that is a uh, one topic uske uh, jo hai wo as i have already told you ki uski i have made three videos for that i have divided them into three videos so um, whenever three videos are over it means that one topic is over so if one topic is over so receiver it i mean to say that you people will decide okay the three videos are completed and one topic is completed so this is actually uh, the responsibility of receiver that whenever the receiver will uh, receive eight bits it assumes that one uh, set is completed one lecture is completed one topic is completed the next one is the isochronous transmission students what is happening here in isochronous transmission we cannot have uneven gaps between the frames transmissions of bit is fixed with equal gaps so it is used in the real time audio and videos where uneven delays are not acceptable so synchronization is entire stream of bit is needed dear students students it's all about our today's lecture what we wanted to learn today actually actually hum half duplex full duplex simplex transmission modes already pad chuke hain that's also a part of this transmission modes in this to lecture we just need to know that about the tra data transmission modes in that data transmission modes we have studied about the parallel or serial transmission or in serial transmission we have learned about asynchronous synchronous and isochronous students what is in the parallel transmission in parallel transmission binary data consisting of ones and zeros may be organized into group of n bits each and by grouping we can send data n bits at time instead of instead of one bit hota kya hai isme ki parallel transmission hoti hai data jo hai wo parallel transfer hota hai from sender to receiver but ye thoda expensive method hai kyun expensive method hai isme hame jitni n inputs hain utni hi n lines required hoti hain aur utne hi jo hai wo receiver ke end pe pe bhi connection required hoga so ye it is just like a link uh, point to point links jitne aapke paas links honge utni hi bits jo hai wo data transfer ho sakti hain but what is happening in the serial transmission a one bit follows another usme kya serially data transfer ho raha hai we need only one channel in the parallel transmission we have n channel n channel means ki jitni aapke paas jitni bits aapko send karni hai utne hi links aapko required honge lekin yahan pe jo har bit hai wo follow karegi next bit ko so we need only one channel rather than n to transmit data between the two devices so conversion devices are required at the interface which kind of uh, conversion devices uh, required honge sender ki side sender ki side pe hamare paas multiple uh, jo hai wo bits hongi aur humne usko over a link bhejna hai to definitely wo bits jo thi wo parallel bits thi humne us un parallel bits ko uh, jo hai wo convert kiya kiske andar सीरियल बिट्स में तो इसका मतलब है कि हमें सेंडर की साइड पे सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन के अंदर पैरेलल टू सीरियल रिक्वायर्ड था कन्वर्टर रिक्वायर्ड था जिसने क्या किया कि एक लिंक के ऊपर हमारी जो है वो एट बिट्स जो थी एट एक लिंक के ऊपर जो आपकी एट एट बिट्स की स्लॉट थी जो वो ट्रांसफर की थी फ्रॉम वन डिवाइस टू अनदर डिवाइस राइट सो उसमें आपके पास यहाँ पे जो था Uh, we uh, and here you need just need a one wire but at the receiver there is again serial to parallel converter jo kya karta tha ki jo link ke upar over a link aapko jo serially data receive hua tha us receive ko convert karta tha parallel parallel or so it means ki jab humne ek parallel data jo hai wo send kiya hai तो पैरेलल डाटा ही रिसीव हो रहा था लेकिन वो एक ओवर अ लिंक गया और जब वो ओवर सम लिंक गया तो सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन हुई कि सीरियली डाटा जो है वो ट्रांसफर हुआ सो अगेन देन वी हैव डिस्कस दैट देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन वन इज द एसिंक्रोनस नेक्स्ट वन इज द सिंक्रोनस एंड थर्ड वन इज आइसोक्रोनस सो वी हैव सीन दैट एसिंक्रोनस क्या चीज होती है इट इज सो नेम बिकॉज द टाइमिंग ऑफ द सिग्नल इज अन इम्पॉर्टेंट so instead of information is received and translated by agreed upon pattern there is a start and stop bit 
स्टार्ट और स्टॉप बिट क्या करती है वो इंडिकेट करती है कि हमारा एक बिट पैटर्न जो था एक बाइट जो है वो कंप्लीट हो गई है और अब नेक्स्ट बाइट जो है वो आ रही है सो दिस स्टार्ट एंड एंड देयर इज अ गैप बिटवीन द डाटा यूनिट्स सो डाटा यूनिट्स के दरमियान गैप था जैसे ही गैप खत्म होता था व्हेन एवर वी एनकाउंटर्ड जीरो इट मींस इट इज अ स्टार्ट बिट एंड व्हेन एवर वी एनकाउंटर्ड वन आफ्टर एट बिट्स इट इट अज्यूम्स दैट इट इज अ स्टॉप बिट सो एसिंक्रोनस ट्रांसमिशन के एडवांटेज क्या है ये चीप है और इफेक्टिव है जबकि सिंक्रोनस एक्सपेंसिव थी वो क्यों एक्सपेंसिव थी कि उसमें हमें जितनी लिंक्स जितनी इनपुट्स हैं उतने लिंक्स रिक्वायर्ड हैं बट uh, वो फास्ट होगी क्योंकि इकट्ठा पैरेलल डाटा चला जाएगा जबकि ए सिंक्रोनस ट्रांसमिशन जो है वो इफेक्टिव uh, होगा बट द स्लो होगा वो क्यों स्लो होगा कि हमें उसमें एक लिंक को जो है एक लिंक जो है वो शेयर हो रहा है हमारा ओवर एंटायर कैपेसिटी सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द सिंक्रोनस ट्रांसमिशन सिंक्रोनस ट्रांसमिशन में क्या होता था डाटा इज ट्रांसमिटेड एज एन अनब्रोकन स्ट्रिंग ऑफ वन एंड जीरो उसमें एक कंटिन्यूस जो है वो स्ट्रिंग जा रही है एटेड बिट्स हम उसमें खुद से एज्यूम करेंगे कि ये वन बाइट जो है वो अब कंप्लीट होगी बट देर इज नो गैप बिटवीन द डाटा सो and uh, it's uh, um, it separates receiver sep and what is happening over at the receiver side receiver jo hai wo separate karega string ko onto the byte and characters it need to reconstruct the information students isme speed bahut zyada increase hogi so uh, we can um, conclude that what is the summary of our today's lecture uh, we can see that we have uh, introduced about an interfaces we can call them that a transmission mode as an interface faces as well so what inter, what kind of interfaces we have studied today um, digital data transmission ki baat kar rahe the aur digital data transmission ke andar humne parallel aur serial transmission dekha theek hai digital transmission ke andar humne parallel aur serial transmission dekha parallel aur serial transmission ke andar further humne jo hai wo serial ke andar jo hai wo humne asynchronous synchronous aur isochronous dekha Thank you very much, students. Please again consult book again and again. I am telling you this thing after every lecture that if you will not consult your book for the particular topic, then it was it will not be cleared. Students, um, don't say you don't have enough time. You have exactly the same number of hours per day that were given to you. So don't waste your time. Students, stay home and stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much.